How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So I just found out that there is a potential jailbreak coming for the Xbox One and the One S of the Xboxes. And I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible because if you don't get your Xbox ready right now at the time of this video, it's possible that Microsoft is going to push an update and you will not be able to get this jailbreak. So those of you that don't know about this, I'm trying to spread awareness. Maybe you've seen it. But I'm going to show right now to get your Xbox ready for this jailbreak. And when the jailbreak actually comes out, then I'll cover it when, when that day comes. But with that being said, let's just get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is check to see if we're on the right firmware version. So if we go into settings and then go down to system. And then click on console info and right in the middle, there is the OS version. I'll probably put an arrow or a box around it, but you need to be on this version, which is the latest at the time of this video. So if you're not on this version, you need to update immediately before it gets patched out. And if you're on a higher version, if you're watching this from the future, then I'm sorry, you might have missed out on this opportunity and may have to wait if there's another opportunity later in the future. But the correct version or the latest version should be right now 10.0.25398.4478. So if you're on this version, then we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and back out. And then we need to go into account and then go into the sign in security and pin. Click on it. And then on the bottom left, you're going to want to click into the change my sign in and security preferences. And you want to make sure that you're on the no barriers. So once you make sure that this is checked off, no barriers, we can go ahead and click on back and then uh, click back again. And here we're going to go into the general tab and then click on personalization. Then we're going to go down to my home Xbox and click into it. And here we're going to want to make sure that make this my home Xbox checked off. So mine's already checked off, but you want to make sure that that is checked. After that, we can go ahead and click on home or the home button on the Xbox controller and then click on home. And then we're going to want to go into the store. So I'm going to find the store here. And we're going to want to look for an app that's called the game script. Go ahead and search for it. Oops. To find it, it's going to look like this, which is game script. Go ahead and click on it and install it. All right, once we've installed the game script app, we just need to run it one time. So let's go ahead and click on home, locate the app game script and enter it. This is all with internet connection so far. After this, we're going to have to disable the internet connection so we won't have any future updates. So once you have the script running, this should be good enough and it should create a cache for offline uh, usage. So now what we could do is just go ahead and get out of this. So press the home button on the controller and then we can exit out of the game script. Quit. And then go home. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is disconnect from the internet because we don't want to accidentally update. So let's go back into the settings. And then in the general tab, let's go into network settings. In network settings, we're going to go down to advanced settings and then into the DNS settings. And then here in the DNS settings, we need to enter manual. So we're gonna change the DNS settings to this IP address here, which is the loopback address, 127.0.0.1. And you actually have to put the points or else it's going to uh, put all the numbers together. So once you have this address on the primary, we're gonna go ahead and press enter. The secondary address is gonna be the exact same thing, 120. 7.0.0.1 and we can go ahead and push enter. So you, now the DNS has been changed to the loopback address and this should not allow you to accidentally update if um, the time comes. So if I push back, it should fail and it still says it's all good. Now I'm glad this happened because I've been seeing on research that a lot of people are having this issue that it still connects to the internet. And what I found is that if you look right there, right there on my network status, it does say that I have the bands IPv4 and IPv6 active. 
And apparently, if you have IPv6, it still allows you con to connect to network. And if you noticed on the advanced settings, it is the DNS that we changed was only for IPv4. So the way to go around this is if you disable the IPv6 off your router and not allow it to connect or for your Xbox, but you can also connect to your hotspot on your phone and um, change it like that. So that's what I'm going to do before I go offline. And just to show you that it does work. So I need to put on my hotspot. Hotspot is on. Put in my password. So now that I connected to my hotspot, it should fail now if it's just IPv4. So it's connecting, trying to connect. And. And. <laughs> Got my mobile hotspot on. There you go. This is the error that you should be getting. The DNS is not resolving the Xbox server names. So if you get this error right here, then you're good to go. So that's okay. We can go ahead and go back. And now we just have IPv4. So that is the issue, which was the IPv6. So now what we could do is we can actually just go offline. And if you want to be extra about it, you can forget this network. But that'd be up to you. Just in case you haven't changed or fixed your IPv6 yet, I forget the network. And you need to remember if you want to use your router, you're going to want to change uh, or remove the IPv6 option. And then you'll be safe. Or you can use your hotspot like I did. So now that we have protection for our Xbox, that's pretty much it. We're now ready for the jailbreak. So after this, um, I'll just wait for the jailbreak to actually be released. And once it is, then I will do an update video and see what we can do with it. But other than that, let me know if you were able to get this update on time or if you care about it interested in anything <laughs> if you have any issues you can let me know and i'll try and help you out as soon as possible because this is a um, pretty important time right now or else you might miss the opportunity that being said thank you for watching and good luck and i'll see you on the next one